Hi, and uh, welcome to uh, Learn Everyday English. We're here with uh, another show, another episode, and we're going to have something again a little bit different for you, but uh, still here so that you can practice your listening comprehension and you can learn and improve your English. And remember, if you uh, like this channel, hit the like button and also please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And we'll keep bringing you these uh, videos on an average of about once a week. And today's um, episode, I have a special guest again here with us, uh, my brother uh, and twin brother, Gerald. And we're going to be talking about uh, a musical instrument. Some of you may know it, uh, some of you may not. It, uh, it's pretty it's popular here in the U.S. in certain areas only and for certain types of music, but it's an instrument called the banjo, the banjo. So I'll um, turn it over to Gerald. He uh, plays a banjo I don't, I've never played, so um, he can tell you a little bit about it. So what is, uh, well, I'll tell you the name of the instrument, uh, what is the uh, history of the banjo? Can you give us a little bit of a... Uh, <coughs> what I've uh, read, it was originally came from Africa. It was brought over with the slaves, but it didn't look like this. It was different. It was basically uh, a stick, and they had a, a gourd on the end of it with some type of skin stretched over it with some strings. Mm -hmm. So that was the uh, early original type of banjo. So this is a more modern version, but it, instead of the gourd, they have this metal pot, they mm -hmm. call it, the pot. And then this is the, the neck of the banjo that fits into the pot. We can talk a little bit more about it. Okay. So, uh, I guess, how long have you been playing the banjo, and what, what got you interested in the banjo, since it's not a very, I think, common instrument that a lot of people play? I don't know. I've probably been playing off and on maybe eight years. And you use the term off and on. That's yes. maybe another expression for you. That means the guy plays a little bit and then stop then play again and so stop so it hasn't been continuous okay or consistent or yeah. consistent yeah yeah so and then um i've always liked the <clears throat> the sound of the banjo i've heard it in other music but uh, i guess since i started playing some other instruments i guess i got confident that if i could play one instrument then i can play another so I just decided to get a banjo and just start playing and see how I liked it. So was there, um, did you take lessons or did you just get some books and tapes and uh, how did you learn on your own, uh, on your own or with some help? Yeah, it was basically just by, uh, I got a book, book and a DVD and just started practicing and playing. I did take lessons, but it was maybe for two months, but the rest was just... Uh, there's a lot of good videos on YouTube mm -hmm. that you can yeah. learn to how to play the banjo. So that's basically what I did. And so what type of music uh, can you play and what kind of music do you play on, on the banjo? Yeah, I think the music that's played on the banjo, more people may, may think of a style called bluegrass. Mm -hmm. It's sort of similar to country music, but not quite the same. This is a style of music like from the Appalachian Mountains, North Carolina, mm -hmm. Tennessee, maybe up in that area. But you can play really all styles of music on the banjo. I know my brother and I did some, like a Middle Eastern mm -hmm. rhythm when he was playing a uh, Arabic drum and I was playing the banjo, or you can play pop songs or folk songs with the banjo and bluegrass. So it's pretty versatile, or okay. you can play many different styles with it. And tell us what's the, uh, the instrument kind of composed of? I see there's some, these are called strings, and there's some little black 
dials or pegs here and uh, what what are all yeah. these things do? So this is called the the head of the banjo up here. You know, think of it like your body. So this is the head. So there's some some pegs on the back. These are called tuning pegs because they they tune the strings. So there's five strings on the banjo. So there's a peg here to tune one of the strings and then on the back there's four more tuning pegs to help tune the strings. Okay. And so the strings tie around the top and they go all the way down over this thing called the bridge and then they tie in or loop into the back here on something called the tailpiece. And so once you have the string on you just start tightening the string to get it to get it up to a certain pitch or, or a certain note. Mm -hmm. So it has to be they have to be tuned to certain notes in order to play it, just like a guitar or any other instrument. Yeah, and that well, good segue into the next question. How do you actually uh, play the banjo? Uh, I think there are a couple of different styles of way people play. Some people use I think call what we call picks on the end of their fingers yeah. and move their fingers around, but you kind of also play a unique style. You want to talk about that? Yeah, I started off playing with the finger picks, which is really common in bluegrass music. So it's normally picks on your these two fingers and then you have a pick on your thumb. I haven't played that way in quite a while, but you would um, start playing uh, like a roll, they call it, just over and over again. And as you change chords, so with the picks, it uh, seems like it's really good for fast music because mm -hmm. it, it, it sounds good with the picks, but you can also play different styles okay. with the picks as well. So that's uh, like the bluegrass style of playing with the finger picks, or some people play this way without finger picks. It's a type of a, another different style that's similar, but I play a style called um, claw hammer. So your hand is sort of in a position of a claw, like a bird's claw, and you strike down on the string with the, I use my middle finger, to pluck the string. So it's a, this kind of motion. it sounds like you're doing a bum, you're plucking the string, bum, diddy, bum, diddy. So this is kind of the basic mm -hmm. strum that you start off with. And interesting, I guess this there's this top string on the banjo, you don't play with your left hand. So it's it's called a drone string. It just kind of rings out as you play it. So you're not you're not changing the pitch of this string as you're playing it. So you pluck it while you're hitting some of the other strings. You hit some of the other strings, so you can hear how that sounds. I think we're going to play a, and I guess a couple that songs. Takes, that technique takes a little practice to get used to. I'm sure. Uh, yeah, it took me a long time. It, I didn't find it very easy, but eventually, after some practice, it got more comfortable, and I was able to to play it better. But it took a lot of practice. I guess we're going to play, uh, I think, two songs. One's a maybe more traditional bluegrass type or, song. Yeah, I guess it's really kind of an old, old time. Kind of old time, okay. But it's like from the same region that I mentioned before, like the Appalachian Mountains, the Blue, Blue Ridge Mountains, and that area where this style of music is really more popular. And I'm just going to accompany, accompany Gerald on the uh, guitar. It's a song called Angeline the Baker.
Poor Boy's Delight, so you can kind of get a feel for a, maybe a different style of song that you can play on the banjo as well. Put that uh, the lyrics of the song on the uh, on the website YouTube site so you can see what the lyrics are and maybe uh, might be an idea for another video where you can learn an English song and a good uh, way to learn uh, some vocabulary and it's a beautiful song maybe you play the guitar or another instrument I'll have the chords and you can play along with the song so good idea. Pardon my couple mistakes. I haven't actually played the banjo that much lately, but it's a really fun instrument to I try. Haven't played the guitar in a, quite a quite a while. That means quite a long time. But pardon my mistakes too. But it was fun. Yeah. So, so I hope you enjoyed that uh, this episode. Learned something new about a instrument called the banjo. Banjo. 
And uh, if you, again, if you like the channel, hit the like button and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. And thanks for watching uh, this episode of Learn Everyday English.